Welcome back guys, Gaming HD here and in this video we are going to be unboxing the brand new Samsung Galaxy S8. This is not the S8 Plus guys, this is just the S8. Still a very very good phone I'm really looking forward to. So you can see that it's a Samsung Galaxy S8, you got S8 and it's the 64 gig version. What the hell. Sorry about that. Do not disturb. Right. I'm really excited, guys. I know I have an iPhone 7 Plus right here, so there are going to be some comparisons between this and this. But, uh, yeah, let's get into unboxing because I really can't wait. So, I got the sort of grey version. These are the specs at the back here. So, it has a dual pixel, 12 megapixel camera. And the front one is an 8 megapixel. IP68 water and dust resistant. So, yeah. My favourite feature. An iris scanner. It scans your eyes, guys. Yeah, this camera is absolutely atrocious. Um, uh, Nox protected. 64 gig memory. 4 gigs of RAM. Wireless charging. And earphones tuned by AKG. Notice it says tuned, not made. Some people get that confused, they're like, oh, it comes with AKG headphones, they're made by AKG. No, they're not, they're made by Samsung, tuned by AKG. I'm really excited, I'm out of breath, so let's get into this. Um, so, it is a bit knocked, I'm a bit concerned, because it came in the, well, <laughs> it came in the post. And you can see right here, it has a very nasty knock on it, but, oh well. <laughs> Finally got it, guys. Now, what a big thing. There it is. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Look at it. Look at that screen. Here's an iPhone. Go away. Here's an iPhone 7 Plus. Now, you probably won't believe me. This phone actually has a bigger screen 5.8 inch, 5.5 inch. But this phone is a lot bigger and bulkier. That's because this phone has a bezel less or sort of bezel less display. A bit like my monitors do actually, you can't see those, but here's the phone. Oh my god, it's so thin and light. Look at it. Yay, hello guys. You've seen my face reveal, so I don't care if you see my face, but look, I've got all fingerprints over it already, and it feels much lighter. Yeah, it does. So let's put it here. You can see uh, the size comparison here. Let's get on to the rest of it. So in here, this is just a bit of plastic. Um, this is probably instructions and the SIM eject tool. I knew that was going to be in there. Don't care. The big stuff. This is what I'll be needing. This is a USB-C to full USB adapter. I will need this to transfer stuff from my iPhone to Android. Which by the way guys, if you know me, I hate Android. So I don't know how I'm going to get on with that. But it's got TouchWiz over it, which I prefer than stock Android, no offence guys, but this is USB-C, I'm shaking, <laughs> to micro USB, just in case you have some old fashioned cables, I'm just going to put these back until I actually need them, which will be in the setup. This is the fast charging charger, I have a wireless charger so I probably won't be using this unless I want to charge it super quick, but you can see it says adaptive fast charging popped up like that. So I might not need that. In here what I will need is the USB-C cable to transfer stuff and these beastie headphones which I was worried they're going to take out. But yeah you can see AKG they're not actually made by AKG they're tuned by AKG made by Samsung it's even got the Samsung model number so if you don't believe me check it out. Um, these are the tip things, they've also got Samsung model number, so it's made by Samsung. Now then guys, I'll be back with the phone. So then guys, these are the Beasts iPhone 7 Plus. This is just the standard S8, it's not the S8 Plus, and guess what? I am so glad to see this boy. Yes, this one doesn't have one. No headphone jack, nowhere. It's one of the reasons why I didn't like the uh, 
the Plus. But I'm an Apple fanboy, as you guys know. I have a MacBook. I have a set of Beats, which, by the way, Beats are owned by Apple now. And obviously this iPhone. I did have an iPod. I have about six EarPod headphones. Uh, yeah. So this phone... I haven't had a Samsung phone for about five years, so this to me is new. The only complaint I have with this is the fingerprint scanner. It's not in a very good place. Um, oh, I'll turn it on. And let's look around the phone first. So let me put it on top of here. So this is a speaker on the 7 Plus, lightning cable, and that's also a speaker. On the top, on the uh, S8, there's a headphone jack, USB-C, microphone and speaker. On the side, on the iPhone, we just have volume and mute. On here, the S8, we have volume and this is the Bixby button, which I don't like. The reason why I don't like it, guys, is because they stopped you from remapping it. There was an app and then Samsung went and blocked the app. So you can't remap this button to, like, open Google Assistant. So, it doesn't really matter, you can just say OK Google and it will uh, do that for you. I'm sorry if I just set your phone off. Or oh, hey Siri. Again, I'm sorry if I just set your phone off, I may have just done that on purpose. This is the SIM card tray slash uh, micro SD tray. Noise cancelling microphone. And on the side, just the power button, the rest of it is empty. Um, I cannot wait to turn this thing on, but on the back we have... Uh, ooh, have I just set off my Hey Siri? Yes, I did. Sorry. <laughs> um, that was a bit late. But yeah, heart rate sensor, flash, 12 megapixel camera, and the fingerprint sensor. So yeah, that is that. So then, guys, I'll probably be back with you when I've set this phone up, because I really cannot wait to turn it on. In fact, let's just turn it on now. See if it's got any power. It does. Oh my god, that screen looks so good. This is a QHD 4K screen, guys. This one just has 1080p. This is pretty much 4K. It's uh, They call it QHD, which is quad high definition. I think it means that, but uh, Android is starting. And um, I'm just making sure I haven't got like one of those bluish displays. I know there's a thing going around where... Some people are getting these S8s and they've got like bluish display or a pinkish display or the display's been burnt in or something like that. Luckily, mine doesn't seem to have that. It even looks cool and this is just in 1080p. This isn't in 4K because it's you have to adjust it in the settings. But yeah, look at that curve. Curved screen. It just looks so beautiful. I mean, it hardly has any bezels on it. The iris scanner is somewhere up here. I can't really show you because of the lighting, but... I mean, compared to this screen, which one looks better, guys? <laughs> but, um, yeah. I can't wait to get this thing set up. Well, then, guys, the S8 is here. There is a couple of things that are annoying me. One, it's telling me how to push the home button, which is annoying me. I know how to push it, but apparently. And I can unlock it with my eyes. Truly. So here it is. This is it. Um, there's literally nothing on it right now. I've got nothing on it at all. Oh, here's the Bixby thing. I still need to set a load of things up on it. But let's just take a look at the. the, the bleh. This fingerprint scanner is going to work. There we go. Let's just take a look. Oh my god. Let's just take a look at the displays. So. Ooh. You can see this is on 4K now. I've put it up to QHD. Um, I can probably show you that. Display is so fast. Um, screen resolution. So you can see here. I've got it up to that. Oh, it's actually 2K, I believe. <laughs> but okay. Or like 3K. But. It's still uh, it's downloading a bunch of stuff at the moment, so it's probably not the best time to be doing this video. But I'm really happy with it. You got the edge panel, which yeah, it's just gonna send me through a load of things because I haven't even set it up yet. So 
But yeah, guys, the Samsung Galaxy S8, and my favourite feature is probably like the always on display. Just wish I knew how to get rid of that because that's annoying. So yeah, guys, the fingerprint scanner actually is okay. Um, but I'm probably just going to use the iris scanner, which, if you don't know what that means, you've already seen my face, so I don't really care. What it does is, you can see it does that. Now, at the moment, it won't work because the camera is, like, right here. Update. It wants to do a software update, guys, so I'm just going to let it do its software update. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, the S8 is a really, really good phone. By the way, I got this with Sky Mobile. This one's a contract. This one is not a contract. This phone, I actually got with my own money. This phone is £36 a month, which is the cheapest from, thank you, to Sky Mobile. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, I do have to pay for that myself. So, it's not like my parents are going to bought it for me or anything like that. This phone I paid for myself. That took me quite a long time to save up. This phone I'm paying monthly right now. Just £36 a month. So yeah, guys, I really, really love this phone. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.